This is the day. This thing's gonna get it. Wanna do the walk around for me and I'll point it out? Okay, both hands. All right, you follow me? We've got it on uh, some boards here. And you can tell this thing is just absolutely rotted out. Fender and everything. Take a look at the underside. We poked the hole through the floorboard, wrapped it around. Look, look up here. Here's the passenger side. This is actually the best side. There is nothing left of this. This is why it's getting junked. Take a look at the interior and everything. The axle, look over here. Axle is mostly out, okay? Here we go. We'll put you on a tripod mm -hmm. and we'll get you set up. Quit it. All right, go ahead. This is the moment. Go back and... Hey, go faster. Don't be too... Here's a new hole spot right in the back. Let's give that another try. Oh, <laughs> so close. Yeah, you ain't get a little harder. Here's why it's being scrapped. And there's the hole that we originally towed from. So what you got to do is put two by fours in here down to an angle. Down to the... Now there's nothing left of that corner right there. That was already starting to rot out. Well, by the odometer and it leaking out like crazy, it's definitely worn out. Huh. Not one to flip it all the way over? No, not upside Now, this is the cross member you need, right? Yeah. That rusty thing? Yeah. Damn. Is it still usable? It's sticking out a little bit. I hope that it isn't rusted true. I don't know. Okay. After, it's probably been, it has, has to have been over an hour since that last clip. Uh, clip. Um, I've dropped. I'll, I'll show you what I dropped. But um, between all that, I've uh, turned over the engine. Show them how free it spins. Look at that. Take it off and get it more of a rotation like I was doing. Okay, stop. Why isn't it coming off? Okay, hold this. 
Okay, make sure it's, is it showing this? Okay, check this out. We're able to get a full rotation out of it now. It's got good compression. Now, from what I remember, it does have a dead cylinder. It probably has a bad valve or something on it. But it does turn now as well. You see this? The alternator spring, uh, oops. It spins by hand. It kind of get closer on that so you can hear it. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it does spin. This idler spins. The water pump spins. Um, power steering pump spins right here. Except um, the only thing left that doesn't spin is, what is that? That might be another um, water pump right there and the AC. That is the only thing that does spin. But if we come back on the side here, as you can see, we've got the rear end is out. This is what's left. It is over here. Everything is out. Drive shaft is disconnected. This is the part that slips on over um, this. It slips on over this and then bolts on to the rear, Thanks, which man. is over here. Yeah. So everything is still intact. 150 for the rear axle. 200 for another 150 just for the trans because it was rebuilt at one point. The oil that you see on here is from the engine itself right here. The car has 125,000 miles on it. The odometer is sitting inside there. But um, the engine, of course, spins now, so I'm upping the engine up to 125 for the engine. And then 150 to 200, depending if you can pull it or if we get it out. So that's everything. Just go out, we'll finish the rest of the video out with all the rust spots. So just walk around and get everything you can. Between all this, the rear end. It looks like the bumper itself right here actually has shocks. Check that out. There's like little shocks for the bumper. That's kind of cool. But there is nothing left of that. Here is the subframe right here and right here. There's hole there. This is the rocker panel and then this was a rocker panel also right here. This is the floorboard on the passenger side. I can fit my hand through here and here and you can see right along the seam right here and it's starting to fall apart and separate and as well as this back piece right here uh, the fenders check this the we have rot right over along right here and uh, up here as well I, I don't think you'll be able to see it he'll, he'll try okay and then here's the core support right here for the radiator, there's nothing left. I'll show you guys the radiator over there in a second. Now if we come across the top here, this is the top of the engine. Um, the fuel injectors have been removed. Um, throttle cable linkage is free but has been cut. Um, any of the fuel supply has been cut. Um, it literally just needs to be dropped now at this point. You can tell there is no saving on this thing. I was jacking up on the corner panels. Hold on, back up a little bit. I was jacking up on the corner panels. Let's see if I can get it in frame. Look down a little bit. I was jacking up on the corner panels right around right here and they were collapsing inward. 
come across over here. Looking on that, you can see how bowed in that, look, no, that is right down there. That started to bow in. There is nothing holding this seat in except a cross member right here, and that is it. All right, now from having too much fun, <laughs> this has been pushed in. But um, bumper-wise, they're okay-ish. The bumper is intact, but it does have slight pitting. Um, you can see there's absolutely nothing left on here. The trunk, you can see, is starting to rot out. I'll let you show the edge of that. That is starting to rot out right there. There's literally nothing left there. Um, uh, we'll show you the bumper. Oh no, the, the doors are over there, as you can see. There, there's a wasp nest here. There's nothing good about these doors now. I've cut them out. They're, they're shit. They're junk. All right. Um, what's next? Okay, we have a full set of XJS wheels over here. Perfect condition. This one is still actually holding air. It is 215.70 R15s. There's the size right there. Um, Pirelli. These are Pirellis, apparently. Those are actually good brands. Of course, they're over 30 years old. And they're flat, so you will need new tires. But let's go over here and show the radiator and hood. Because I was going to show you guys that the hood actually has holes in it there it, it was literally sitting for so long that holes started to form in the hood now the radiator was still full of fluid and I'll bet you this is still fine there is no rips or anything on this radiator all right here's the hood As you can see, these right here, you have it zoomed out or something. Um, we've got rot holes going all the way through right here, 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 here. <laughs> I mean, look at this, here, 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 and here and here. It was, go those all go all the way through. Go ahead and zoom in on those. They go all the way through. junk so this is part of the scrap pile here but that is it i'll see you guys on the next video this is tft going out